New evidence suggests that swordsmanship in Bronze Age Europe developed complex forms and techniques possessing similarities to later medieval sword and buckler techniques. Through a process known as metalworkware analysis, researchers found that Bronze Age swords shared similar marks of wear and damage that hinted that they were heavily used. To discover how the swords were used, the researchers tested accurately made replicas of the swords against each other and other accurately made weapons and armor they could have clashed with in their age. The researchers performed the tests themselves to retain human movement in the test which could not have been maintained through using machinery. But those tests only showed the most basic movements. To see if complex techniques existed back then, they gave replica weapons to HEMA practitioners, practitioners of historical European martial arts, and had them run through techniques that HEMA practitioners felt were appropriate to the swords and shields they were given. The HEMA practitioners decided that the sword and buckler techniques of Andrei Lingensters of the 15th century were best suited to the weapons. Testing recreated 14 of the 23 marks found on the historical Bronze Age swords. Six of the marks they linked to specific actions. A rolled oval bulge on the edge of the blade formed from displacing the opponent's blade, then winding in for a strike, a form of versetzen, which was common in medieval swordsmanship. Such bulges were very common on the historical Bronze Age sword study. Bronze swords even stuck together in a way that steel swords don't, facilitating ease in performing the technique. Such techniques were likely used by Bronze Age European combatants. Other HEMA techniques reproduced other marks found on the historical blades, but due to the fluidity of the techniques, it was hard to establish the exact actions that caused the marks. Static testing found that wide triangular notches were produced from contact with spearheads, while wide round dents came from striking wooden shafts of spears or other shafted weapons. Flattened tips came from thrusting into bronze or wooden shields, but not leather shields. An irregular dent came from impacts to the edge of things like shields that have irregular edges to them. And a square dent came from impacting another sword in a static block. Other marks like parallel notches or bent blades occurred for many actions or a mixture of actions. All this evidence demonstrates that Bronze Age swords in Europe were heavily used for combat, that combatants developed advanced forms of combat, and that some techniques used in medieval combat likely have their origins back in the Bronze Age or even further back. And possibly, similar techniques to these could have existed back even further in places like Bronze Age Mesopotamia and other locations where early swords were developed. Leave a like, comment, and subscribe. A few sources and other resources may be found in the description below.